Hey everybody, Real with Wes, coming at you day three here, uh, talking about how to live free. And really what I'm dealing with is things about living free uh, from fear that may govern our lives and going through this week and showing some of the symptoms that may come from that so you can identify that and kind of navigate life. Uh, why? So we can have a healthier thinking, healthier emotions, and healthier decisions overall. Let me tell you, the thing I, I want to encourage you today is, is to embrace change. Change can be one of the scariest things, uh, especially because you don't really know. There's a, there's an uncertainty that comes. When you're pressing out there for change, you're going to make missteps. You're going to be a learning curve that's going to come with it. It can sometimes be really painful. Um, and it can be viewed as a very negative and threatening thing because it's easy to hold on to the past things. We've always known why because it's we know it and it's a security to it. But that security will run out over a season if you don't change. We have to keep growing as a society. We have to keep growing as individuals. Everything, when we look at God, is about growing and expanding and moving further and progressing forward and unrevelation and all these different things. That's what applies in life. So we don't want to get um, stuck in this place where we're unwilling to change where that fear of that change, the fear of the unknown uh, comes in. And then we double down and say, oh, it's all we've always done this this way. We have to do this way because there's a certain level of certainty. But how do I deal with that fear now? How do we do that? Well, it's how you look at change and how you perceive change. Uh, some people say, well, not all change is good. Well, I think the thing when you're exploring into change, first of all, uh, it's not always balanced. It's not always accurate. It's a figuring it out process. And when people are afraid of change, they start throwing in the judgment. They start throwing in the condemnation. They start trying to control the experience. All that's fear is what that is of the unknown. It takes a moment to figure that out. But here's the thing where the shift perspective comes. You have to look at change as a positive thing. And you have to look at change and growth as a lifestyle that is continuously happening over and over and over again. That's a healthy lifestyle, by the way. Why? Because now you can open yourself and embrace new things. You can see God in a new light, see things differently. And it, it, that's why we talk about when you're afraid of changes, you get really narrow-minded and closed-minded is what that is. So you have to continuously, we talk about in the Word, if you want to bring it back to a scriptural thing, renewing the mind is what that is. That causes us to change. How do we re renew our mind? We come into a different understanding. We look at things different. And so when you're going through that, it, it's going to be scary sometimes because you're like, well, I don't know if this is right or wrong. I'm feeling uncertain about this. That's part of the process. But man, there's so many things that there's breakthroughs in that. There's uh, those growth opportunities cause you to handle life differently and respond to things differently in, in, in a better way. Everything's positive. Change is always a good thing. And that has to be our perspective of change is what it is and to embrace it. Embrace the next generation that's coming up because they're going to bring changes to the table. And, and it's easy to center in on what you don't know and be afraid of what that is. But there's a lot of beauty in it. And there's the next thing that God's going to bring out of that, that we need to embrace as humanity and grow into. All those different things is what it is. My biggest thing I want to encourage you, don't let the fear of change rob you of the beauty of growth. So what you have to look, here's the perspective of change. Change is always growth. When you connect it with growth and see it as a positive thing, it helps you sort through that fear and realize you're not going at it alone. You bring people in around you. You got the spirit of God to help you change and grow and look at things differently is what you want to do. And overall, you're going to come out better. So don't let the fear of change rob you of the beauty of growth is what I encourage you today. All right, that's all I got for you guys. I'll come back at you tomorrow. I hope everybody's doing well. Much prayers and loves to you all. And I'll catch you tomorrow.